So here we are, we're gonna do a download on the VX520. As you can see, it says download needed, no star go variable. So first off, since this is under the first data platform, we are registered first data ISO MSP, um, we're going to need to make sure that the operating system on this VX520 is up to date to the OS520 245 NA operating system as of today. So the way we make sure our terminal is up to date um, is we do a power cycle and we show what comes up on the menu. Please note, if the terminal is not up to date, you will not be able to do EMV as the EMV is not loaded in the older operating sh systems. So here we go. Turn the power off. Turn power back on. And what you'll notice is the terminal will power cycle and it says loading right there. It says QT5 204045.0. That means that it is up to date. So here we go. We're going to start to download. First, what we do is we hit F2 and F4 at the same time, which brings up the terminal manager entry. Please enter the password. Our password, and this is the standard for all Verifone models going back quite a ways, is 1 alpha alpha 66831. Enter. Here we have your terminal manager. Edit parameters, download, restart. What are we doing? We're going to do a download. Group 1 is that is the um, is the group we're loading. Enter password, same thing, 1 alpha alpha 66831. If your terminal is ever locked from the manufacturer or from your processor, it's mainly going to be setting that um, password is going to be different. So if that password doesn't work, chances are you have a locked terminal. Now what are we doing? We're downloading a single app or multi app. This is classified as a multi app with a full download. We're going to clear group application from application 1. Confirm deletion. Yes. How are we going to be downloaded? Modem, COM1, COM7. If we download via modem, it will take forever. What we love about these new VX machines is they have dual mode, dual COM. Modem, COM1, COM7. Nope, there's a little down arrow. SD card, USB flash memory, TCP IP, that's what we want. So we hit three. Now it's going to say, please select download or FTP. Download. Remember, we're going to go to Ethernet. Download again. And right now it has this task in here, tdltask.com. Um, that would be correct if we were doing an operating system update, but the operation is already done. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that that's in there. And for this, we're going to be using V C dot first deploy. If you've never done one of these before, as you can see, you hit the hit the um, number pad, then alpha to determine the numbers, the uh, words on the screen. VC dot first, and then for D would be three alpha deploy D E. You get it. Where's Y? First deployed dot com. BC dot first deployed dot com. And our port is actually going to be port 443. SSL is going to be true. This is secure download. Block size, heap size, empty, empty. Terminal ID. This is an old terminal ID that actually is for the uh, operating system update. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put this terminal ID in here, which I'm going to take it off screen because that's going to be our, our secret. This is going to be a live merchant here. And then download. After you hit that, enter star MA. Resume download. False. And now group settings, it goes through everything. Group one, vc.first deploy, port 443, all of that's in there. Download, please wait. And you cycle through it. And this is how fast the download is. As you can see, the dash is on the screen. That means we do have a connection. Um, each dash represents 10%. So what's gonna happen is that 10%, we're going to get a star. 
as you can see, here's the star.